Hey guys, it's Kronos the Hedgehog, and we're back with another Halloween video. This is Nightmare Shorts Episode 3 Recall, and we're going to be reacting to the 4th as well. Uh, they're quite long videos, so you know, I'll get right into it. Oh, same intro. Sweet. Eerie music, but sort of like a... It looks like an Antarctica version of it, like of Green Hill. Ooh, what are they doing? Oh my god, what is that long looking dude? Oh my god, it's a knuck Knuckles hybrid. Oh, and here we have a signal from a time stone. A time stone? What a great lore coming from my area. Because I use time stones as well. Well, my character. It's not a problem. I can go inside, scouting, find the stone, and tell you what I find. Yes, it'll be much faster than just learning it from the outside. There's no oxygen, or you may teleport into a dangerous place, or perhaps you will instantly die once you set foot there. There's no point in taking that risk, at least for you. I'll just find a subject that's not important to anyone, or me, and send them inside. Well, that makes sense. Then do it faster! These are subjects. This shows you how dark this world is. Well, their world. Tails, get a hold of yourself. We're on a this tale is extremely oh, arrogant and. She seems crazy, but she's so real. And Tails is very rebellious. He's a pretty sensitive creature. No need to hurt his feelings. Not to hang out with some crazy demon scientist. Tails, watch your mouth. Exitor gave you a chance to prove yourself on the job. Or do you want to go back to the savages? Interesting. Exitor was talking to you during your demonization went wrong. That led to the outburst. Perhaps I should examine. What the hell is that? That's like a demented selling acorn. Finally, he's gone. Now we can go looking for the stone without his boring speeches. No! Tails! It's too dangerous. Tails is so arrogant, man. Can get in there. Well, Dark Tails, you know, I should say. You know, burst in flames or something. Demonized Tails? Mate, Demonized Tails sounds like a good name. Do you want to fail Exeter? Of course not. But I don't want to be so reckless. Okay. If you're afraid, I'll go in there alone. Tails, wait! And they'll do. <laughs> It's like the this is the Ben drum music. Now how do we get back? Well, what music we is find it? The stove? We don't have a single blue word to look It's from a George the Master though. I remember that. Hard knuckles afraid of some foreign dimension. Pick a guardian of the master emerald afraid of dark places. <laughs> That's just pathetic. Tails, fight your anger. Don't tell me to shut up. Unlike you. I'm not afraid of being in a new place. Calm down, Knuckles. It's not Tails. It's his inner anger. 
Just try to stay close. Keep him out of trouble. Tails, where are you? Stupid McDonald's. There's nothing to be afraid of. It's just an empty, dark place. We'll find the stone and get out of here. First time I've got scared on my YouTube channel. Okay, that is a scam me to be honest. I already got jumped today, so nothing to be scared of. It's like a really shitty indie game. What the hell is that? I'm digging this music though. I mean, yeah, it does scare me, but it's just jump scares. It's nothing really that interesting. The lore behind this, though, is really good. Another jump scare bit. If you think my um, if you look at my hair and you think it's wet, yeah, it is wet. I just had a shower, so or not shower, bath, so that explains that. Yeah, spam man in my comment section.
Sonic died as a result of this, the fox lost it. He was consumed with guilt. He began to lose faith in himself. I mean, that does happen with people that have depression and stuff. Fox. That's not Sonic. Ash! What was that? More of a bomb. What happened to me? Why do I look like this? This is really weird. Nothing but black. <laughs> no thanks. Yeah. I won't give you up made that. A terrible fate. Sonic, no! Ghost tales in another dimension. Don't know what that's about. <clears throat> Sonic. Ghost Sonic. He refused to accept this. He should have paid the price. Admit it, Tails. I will not let you ruin my life. You're just a part of me, and you're out of control. Do you really want to save someone? Turn you down. Get away from me! Sonic will accept me as soon as I get rid of you. The tornado. This is supposed to be scary. It's just a nightmare. It can't be real. How many times are you going to kill Sonic? Get rid of me. I'm a part of you. I'm the one that helps protect you. My ears. Come for you too. 
It's like they used some kind of hypnosis to put us in a trance or something. It seems so. This place is very strange. And these demons. Why do they want us? I have no idea. But I don't think we need to find out. Let's try to find a way out of here. Report to Paravision what we saw here. And we'll return here fully prepared. Wow. I'm sorry I brought us here without any preparation. The state it takes over. I understand, Taves. I was hoping you'd feel better. But, I guess you still need sessions to quill that anger that resides deep within you. I believe that sooner or later, you could defeat this. I believe in you. Thank you. Aw, that's good. Oh, tails doll. See? The stone's on the doll's head. Hey, doll, can you give us a stone? And the sky Wait! Come on, Knuckles! This is some holy demon music, or well, unholy demon music. Come on, Tails. Come on. No, Tails. Oh. No! Tails, are you okay? The portal opened again. We need to leave now. It doesn't matter. If we don't get out of here in time, these freaks will destroy our brain. At least they escaped, but the time stone's destroyed. Did the portal close? This is odd. Where did those two get off to? Looks like they learned something about that mysterious world. I'll ask them about it later. Doesn't like they The guy's voice act is so good. Oh, what's the exterior doing? Are you back already? Good. Have you found the time stone? Yes. But it was destroyed. What? How? It's a long story. If you want, you can ask for vision about it. Now, if you excuse us, let's take a little bit. I don't know. Oh, uh, well, that was really good. Uh, support this guy, uh, Jay's Crows. I don't know. Crone? Crows? Oh, I don't know how to say his name, but just support him. 
uh, play his games, because I'm too cow cowardly to play his games. I mean, I have already played his games, but I don't know. I'm not playing the remake of um, Nightmare the Beginning. I'm not playing it. I, I swore to myself I'll play it once, and I'm not playing another horror game in my life, because I'm too scared to do it. But we're going to do the next one, which is uh, Nightmare Be uh Nightmare Shorts, episode 4, A Wave of Pre-Caption? I don't know, maybe the word's pronounced wrongly, but I don't know. It's not a word I know. Let's get into it. Since ancient times, our universe was ruled by two groups of mystical, powerful creatures. These beings are known as the Highest and the Demons. While the highest were full-fledged creators of planets, dimensions, and the light that inhabits them, the task of demons was to regulate the balance of the good and bad sides of living beings. To have various points of inconsistencies, wars, and complication of the lives of the said planet's inhabitants. Though, the highest perceived demons as condescending, but an open war with them would mean that the highest would have had to do all the dirty work themselves, which was below their dignity. Therefore, wow, you're gods, bro. You didn't get to do work regardless or not. Well, they fulfill their part of the work. In addition, demons have the right to release their wildest desires if it does not result in the existence of the highest end demons to the world. For a long time after that, the demons and highest lived peacefully. However, one day, everything changed. Everything changed. Demons are divided into three main categories. Demons of sharpness, weight, and demons of gap. This is Nekajin, a weight demon. Such demons characterize a reduced level of aggression. They I would probably accept this into the real Sonic lore. Like, they're gods, and it makes sense of how the world was created. Like, this is good world building, and I love it. Water helps them to keep calm. These demons have a weak spectrum of emotions and tend to avoid encounters with other demons. Wave demons are occasionally prone to capture a developed being soul, but usually capturing the souls of small animals. But this time, near from the place where Nick Chin meditated, there was a large group of Mobians. Nick Chin got closer and one by one. Quietly took the souls of all members of the group. Such a large number of new developed souls caused the demon to spend a lot of strength to keep them inside. Unfortunately for Nikajin, the other wave demons that were in the area also sensed the group of Mobians, and while Nikajin tried to calm the enraged souls, they found him. Look at that. Seems like Negagen took more souls than he can handle. He didn't even think to leave any for us. Perhaps he should be taught a lesson for such insolence. Even demons can bully other demons. This is how hell works. Negagen tried to assist him, but the soul's pressure weakened him from the inside. When the enemy demon prepared to suck all the souls out of Negagen, and at the same time kill him, suddenly, from the side, something black flashed and the other wave flew off to the side, unconscious. Near the stage stood a black cloak shaped figure with red stripes on his wing thorns. Negaja realized that it was a demon of sharpness before him, but he felt weird. Usually demons of sharpness behave extremely aggressively, killing all that they see. The demons of sharpness are the most active, most physically strong, and militant demons. They like to steal lonely mortals and torture and eventually kill them. They call it a game. In ordinary circumstances, meeting with the sharper meant certain death. But the demon who decided to knock out the other waver felt much more relaxed. Looking at Negaji, the figure said, you don't need to absorb souls. 
What? Control the vessels with their souls. You will save a lot of energy. Wait. What did he mean? Negajin came to the place where he left the bodies of the mummies. The demon began to carefully return the souls to their owners while still keeping them under control. Soon the mummies got to their feet. Negajin was surprised to find out that they were completely under his control, but their souls no longer resisted much. Meanwhile, the enemy wailer woke up. Ha! You decided to return with the souls of the living and give them to me so that I'll let you live? Huh. You wish. Well, you're going to die anyway. Ooh, the enemy began to attack Negaji. Our demon has ordered the swarm of souls to attack the enemy. They quickly obeyed. Wei Wei was surprised and tried to kill the inhabitants, but Negajin was smarter. He only made an attack when they had the chance. Soon, the joint efforts of Negajin and the soul, the demon was defeated. Yes, demon defeated. But they don't have the cool doom anymore. Who was this mysterious sharper? Why didn't he kill him? Why he felt that mighty? After thinking about it, our white demon decided to kill this demon. Negajin went on a long adventure. Later, he learned that some pious named Exetion was prowling among demons and sought out as for Exetion. It turns out that it was he who helped Negajin. Oh, did the highest just help me? Reflecting on this, our way demon continued his quest along the way gaining himself a small army of new souls of different creatures. After months of wandering, he finally got an Exexio's trail. When the desired demon had been found, the unexpected happened. Negajim was nearby when he heard the sounds of battle. Coming closer, he saw a few dozen sharpers who attacked the highest demon. Also, there was the demons of Gap which was ruled by their own subordinates and incited them to accession. It was very unusual. Shapers were never known for good teamwork, but the ally was the demon of Gap. Also, it was strange that there was more than one demon of Gap, as these demons tend to always work alone. Seems that something very serious had happened since they decided to work together. Negajin understood that he is the most weak among all these demons, but he could not free himself to leave the one who wants to save his own life. Negajin spread part of his army to distract the demons of Gap, and together with the rest of the army rushed to the aid of Excessior. Things turned out really serious. Negajin was able to distract the Can no one pronounce exterior correctly? It's not Ishoria. It's exterior. I hear Multiverse Sonic does the exact same thing. It, it's exterior, not ex exesia. That just, it doesn't, it doesn't even sound correct. Sorry. It's just, that bugs me a little bit. How can a godly being lose consciousness? When Megajin woke up, he saw that he was lying somewhere in the forest. He no longer felt a single soul under his control. Looking around, he saw the highest demon who sat on the side of him and restored his power. Seeing that Negajin woke up, he smiled a little. Are you awake already? Good. You were badly hurt back there. Don't know how you found me or why, but thank you. Without you, I will have had to expose myself. You saved me before. I could not leave you to die. Die? Funny. So, why were you looking for me? I wanted to thank you for the advice with souls, but later I discovered you're a highest. But why do you look like a demon? This is a disguise. 
Oh no! As much as I would like to discuss this more with you, soon there will be reinforcements of the group from which we just deal with. We gotta go. Our demons quickly fled, along the way, talking among themselves. Exitio will not make a change to travel with them if you would obey the highest. Soon the demon and the highest became good friends. Exitio liked the obedience and potential of the waiver, and Nekjin admired the strength and wisdom of Exitio. Nekjin still didn't know much about his new friend, but he believed him. But after a year, the war started between the highest and demons. The truce was broken. The demons, headed by Exitua, fought for the independence of Mobius from Erasure. Highs perceived living beings and the entire evolution of development of them as a seedful game, unworthy of any special attention. Exitua was lost in that war. Ironically, he was turned into a demon of sharpness, who he used to pretend to be. He was then sent to prison. Many of the demons were sent to be tortured or just be killed. Nick Jim was sexy. Well, demons can die. But they're godly beings. How can they die? Spent several thousand years there, all alone. For one day, a strange portal appeared. Going through it, Nick Jim signed Sessua. Master, you're alive. Exitio told Negajin about the incident with which he got out of his prison and hid in one of the Morbius' dimensions. I will not give up so easily, my friends. We will raise an army again, and when we will take back what was ours, we will free Morbius from an endless series of erasure. Oh, so then this is how down. the events of a Sonic of the not the beginning takes place. Sure, held Negijin in his own dimension, where the planet Mobius has already been mostly demonized. Exesio's plan was that the highest can just erase the demon without using a special energy. Exesio wanted to demonize all mortals from Mobius, so demons of all dimensions can attack and overthrow the totalitarian power of the highest. Exesio told Negijin that he needed a new form to make the demon's location harder to track. Negijin saw as in one of the dimensions of Mobius, Hedgehog named Sonic, had fought with other demons in super form. So Negijin oh. decided to shapeshift into this form for himself. The task of Negijin was to create his own demonization analog, and that would be less painful. Immersing the soul of the victim in a sweet dream, and taking their body for his own needs. I know this thing all too well now, because I actually played for it once. I think one on the channel, and then second just Why for the six. person? Not wear any clothes, except shoes, and some are fully dressed all the time. I don't know, sometimes I answer that question as well, Negajin. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. That was pretty amazing. The second episode was my favorite, so thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.